Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be making a super healthy beef stir fry. Uh, it's actually going to have beef that's going to be dry aged uh, to intensify the flavor and I'll show you how to do that. It's super simple, anyone can do it and it leads to an excellent product. So here it is. So here it is, uh, as you can see it looks really really firm and it's very very hard to touch. Uh, I can see that there is quite a lot of meat that has been um, blackened and this is basically what happens when um, you take a steak and you put it in, in the fridge or under cold air um, and a lot of the moisture um, gets absorbed away um, and so this leads to a little bit of a bacteria um, that makes it very hard to steak um, and this bacteria is actually pretty good because on the inside underneath the exterior coat um, you're going to see that the, the flavors are going to intensify and the meat's going to be much much more tender than it would usually be um, so be using this. I'm going to freeze it for a bit just so it makes it easier to cut. So here it is, the aged steak that I've just chopped up into small pieces. I went ahead and put this in a sealable plastic bag ready for my marinade and then I started my marinade. Uh, first off, you're going to need to add a thickening agent in the form of cornstarch or arrowroot powder. I used arrowroot powder because it's healthier. Um, then I went ahead and added some Worcestershire sauce but only half a tablespoon. Um, and following that, I added some Shaozing wine um, to break down the meat, uh, followed by uh, some kekap manis, and then some soy sauce. And then I uh, added some oyster sauce, uh, and then once that was done, I went ahead and added some more sugar in the form of uh, actual cane white granulated sugar. And followed by that, uh, I added a little bit of olive oil, and then uh, that's the end of the marinade. All you got to do is then seal it up, mix it, and then uh, just like I did, so that everything is connected well. Uh, and it um, gets to know each other and then put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. When you're ready to cook, add it to a ripping hot pan just like I did or a wok. Uh, then all you gotta do is just uh, stir it around, cook it up. It, it might stick together because of a lot of um, the sugars in the marinade, but just make sure you stick with it. Um, keep turning it around. Uh, once the beef's cooked, go ahead and add your garlic. Um, once you've done this, you're going to see that it's going to become really, really nice and fragrant. Then you can go ahead and add your mixed veg, um, perfect for stir frying. Uh, all you got to do now is just break up the meat as best as you can. Um, because it's so sticky, you want it to try to coat the, the vegetables. Uh, to help with that, you're going to have to add some Shaozing wine and some soy sauce. Um, just to color the vegetables, give it some flavor and break down the meat. Um, mix it up. Uh, once it's almost done, you can go ahead and take it off the gas and then add some sesame oil just for some fragrance. I garnish with some sesame seeds and then I plate it up and it looks really good. Hey everybody, so I'm gonna give it a taste uh, and let you know what I think about it. Um, it smells so good. Um, here it goes. The, the meat is very, uh, very, very uh, tough, um, which I imagine is because I've overaged it. Um, Let's see how it tastes. The beef is very, very tough. Um, obviously, because I, as I mentioned, I overaged it. Um, but the flavors are very, very good. I think if you use, um, maybe if you age it only to three days, which I think, I, which is what I'll probably do next time, I think we'll see better results. Um, let me taste the veg and let you know what that thing. The vegetables are perfectly cooked. Um, I'm very happy about that. Uh, the meat is way too tough, so I think I will probably um, let age is less, as I mentioned. Um, the sesame seeds adds a, adds a nice crunch on top, which is a nice garnish. Uh, a little bit of pepper adds a little bit of a kick. Um, I highly recommend you give this a go. Um, obviously, because it's room to improve, I would say age it only to three days, um, or you can use fresh beef, which is your choice. I just wanted to um, give this a go and see how it goes because. Aging is usually done in Western cooking, so um, I think this was a pretty cool uh, alternative. Although you can make this dish with lamb, because uh, you know there are people who don't eat beef. Um, so highly recommend you give this a go. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe up to my channel if you want to see more videos made by me. Um, and let me know what you think about this recipe and about the aging uh, aspect down in the comment box below. Thanks, see you next week.